Breath of the Lich King only a few days away. Uh, a lot of people are still boosting characters, uh, and you may be somebody who has boosted a rogue, but you're not really sure how to play rogue, and that's okay. That's what I'm here to help with. Today, we're going to be talking about poisons, uh, how to use them, uh, and when to use them, and really, most importantly, which weapon to use them on. Uh, and that's pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to give you the info so that you just know, based on the poison that you're using, uh, you know which hand to put those poisons on. Um, based on just a, I guess, a priority level. So a big thing to know is that with an offhand weapon, it will always proc your poisons faster than and more often uh, than your main hand weapon. Uh, usually with a offhand dagger, they're roughly around the 1.4 speed. Uh, offhand swords, the quick swords, um, that is available through the PvP vendor if you were able to get that far. They have a 1.5 uh, attack speed. And so what this means for you is that you're going to put your highest priority poisons onto that weapon. If you're playing combat, uh, they're, you're pretty much always going to be running instant poison on both weapons. Um, if you uh, know the best use cases for when to use a specific poison, uh, this video <laughs> is already useless, useless for you. But So for new players, uh, you can't go wrong with combat if you are using uh, instant poison on both weapons. If you find that there is a use case to use something like mind-numbing poison to increase the cast time... Um, that's going to be, that's totally fine. Uh, a lot of people will use that for a shiv weapon. Uh, so they'll have a secondary offhand weapon in their bags. Macro that weapon to equip before using shiv, and it'll already have mind-numbing poison applied to that. And then you can automatically swap back to your uh, normal weapon that you, that you usually have equipped. Um, so it really doesn't matter what the stats are on the other weapon, uh, as long as you're able to hit the target, really just prioritizing uh, applying a new poison. So with that, uh, knowing that your offhand is going to proc the poison more frequently, uh, a big deal with that is, and the reason that I bring that up, is because uh, assassination is almost always going to be having uh, deadly poison on their offhand uh, because you need it so that you're able to proc and venom. Um, so you need stacks of deadly poison uh, on the target uh, to apply very regularly. That way you can consume them with uh, foreign venom. Uh, although there is a talent spec, uh, Master Poisoner, you have a chance to not uh, take the, uh, not consume the deadly poison stacks. Um, and I believe it becomes a 100% chance after uh, you have all three points in there. Uh, for PvP, uh, a really important talent choice is going to be Deadly Brew. When you have both points into Deadly Brew, uh, it will have a 100% chance to apply Crippling Poison when you apply Instant Poison, Wound Poison, or Mind Numbing Poison to the target. So effectively, if you think about this, you can have uh, four poisons applied to a target while playing Assassination using this spec. So you can be running Instant Poison on your main hand, uh, Deadly Poison on your off hand. Uh, the Instant Poison proccing will add Crippling Poison, and you can have a Shiv weapon that has either Mind Numbing or Wound Poison on it. Um, and you can have all four of those poisons applied. Uh, and using the shiv uh, with that backpack weapon I will also apply a crippling po poison for you. So, so it's a uh, pretty important information to know. Sub, on the other hand, uh, almost always while in PvP, uh, you're going to be doing wound poison and crippling poison, um, and really it's up to you. Uh, if you're going against a lot of healers, having wound poison on your main hand probably isn't going to proc as often as you'd like for it to. Um, and you may want uh, mind-numbing poison. So uh, you may end up doing mind-numbing poison on your backpack weapon, uh, wound poison on your main hand weapon, and that way you can always have shiv in your back pocket uh, to mind-numbing poison the target. Uh, or you can have wound poison on your offhand weapon to proc it more regularly and keep it up, since you're not as worried about having crippling apply, um, so you can have that on your main hand weapon. And then just be swapping out your wound poison dagger for your mind-numbing dagger, uh, whenever you shiv. A bunch of different ways that you can go about it, uh, but uh, really I would say it's based on a priority system. Put your most important poisons on your offhand weapons so they proc the most frequently, uh, and then the next up uh, the next up most important one that you want to be proccing regularly can be on your main hand, uh, but not important enough that you need to shiv it um, so that it applies instantly. Uh, something like num mind numbing poison uh, will pretty much always be on your uh, shiv weapon. You can also be utilizing uh, anesthetic poison so that you can uh, shiv off an enrage effect uh, because that uh, isn't added into Wrath of the Lich King just yet. So shiv does not automatically remove uh, enrage effects like it does in future patches. 
Uh, so just keep that in mind uh, that you'll still need to be using anesthetic poison for something like that. Anyway, so uh, if this was helpful, please be sure to uh, like and subscribe or whatever you want to do. I've also just uploaded a video uh, recently about what spec is going to be the best for leveling up through Wrath of the Lich King uh, and how to choose that spec uh, based on your preferences. Uh, be sure to check that out and uh, take care.